What's up, guys? What up, Will here? And today we're doing something different on the show. Movie reviews. I'm going to talk about Jeepers Creepers 3. Movies I really want to see. That's what I'm going to review. And it's Jeepers Creepers 3. I've been waiting to see this for a very long time. And I'm excited it's finally here. It was released for one night only. September 26th, which was yesterday. I had to drive all hour away from my house to go see it. Um, first of all, so let's talk about the movie a little bit. It was supposed to be Jeepers Creepers 3 Cathedral. But that got canned. So now we have Jeepers Creepers 3 which is a prequel to the second film. This happens, the events happen right after the first film. I didn't realize that. I didn't watch any of the trails. I wanted to go in fresh and surprised. I thought it was like a brand new story to it. No, it's a continuation of the first film. Um, That was pretty cool to get, you know, to get to see the events that happened before the second film. Okay, so let's talk about the bad. This is definitely the weakest in the franchise. The first one feels more amazing. What hurt this one was the budget. It had a really low budget, and you could see it in the effects and the actors. Um, it didn't really have any good actors in it. Um, you know, it had the weakest cast of all the films also. But for what it was, they pulled it off. They pulled it off good. The CGI was pretty bad at some points, but they did it the best they could. There was one scene in the end um, where there's a big car accident and a big fight scene, and it just looked ridiculous. You could tell it was a totally fake car. And the explosions and the bombs... Um, he had this little uh, landmine that rolls, kind of like a Mario Kart type of thing, like an exploding shell, and that looked pretty bad too, you know, but what can you do when you have that much of a budget? You got to make it work. The point of this film was to get people to see it and get people talking about it again so they could have more money to make the fourth, and I respect that, and I understand it, and that's pretty damn cool. So that's what really kind of hurt this film. It was slow-paced. It wasn't as fast-paced as the other ones. Um, it took a little while. There was more dialogue in this one um but the creeper delivered he was cool when he was on camera he was fun um his personality was a little different in this film i didn't like how they had him in that red t-shirt he looked a little too human he he moved a little too humanly too this time i don't know he was a little different he wasn't as menacing as in the prior films he came off a little too human but it was an awesome performance man he was uh fun and entertaining um also the gore in this one was toned down a lot. There wasn't that many. Jeepers Creepers 2 had a lot of crazy scenes, like the infamous head decapitation on the school bus. That was crazy to see that. It didn't have any of that stuff in this one. There was a few here and there, but it was really toned down, man. Like, I couldn't believe it. This is one of the least gory horror films I've ever seen. Um, so that's the bad of it. The good of it is that, you know, I walked into the pack theater there's some interest obviously it's a controversial movie because the director's past and stuff listen he did his time whatever he did i i don't know the details i can't justify the crimes that he did but if somebody wants to make their art and they did their time and it's years and years ago and they've been living a good life hopefully you gotta let things go sometimes man you know if he wants to make his art and make his films let him make his films people love him and people want to see him so what can you do um, but the good of the film, the creeper was cool. You got to see his weapons. Um, you got to see the victims, like what it's like inside of his truck. The truck was a big factor, and it. it was pretty badass. The truck, it, it had bulletproof armor on it. It was made up of different parts. They called it a Frankenstein truck at one point, and it had some cool weapons that you didn't see before. The truck was actually very deadly and dangerous. Um, as far as the cast, nobody really stood out. Um, the sheriff was pretty cool. Um, the main guy that was hunting him, I forgot his name, was pretty cool too. But that was it. Like, it did its job. It was a sub story to the other two films. But we need to see the fourth one. You didn't get any closure. The big thing was that they found this hand. Jeeva Creep was one of his limbs that came off. They found it and it would see into the future. And two people found out what he really was. And they didn't tell us anything. They just told you that he was an ancient creature and he was bigger than we thought it was. And that was it. They didn't get into detail. They left us waiting. Um, there was one big final showdown, which was pretty funny. Everybody was cracking up in the movie theater because the CGI was bad. And it was just funny the way it came off. But, you know, like, it, it sucks because they didn't have the budget and they couldn't do the things they wanted to do. But they did the best they could with it. And if you're a fan of the series, definitely go check this one out. Um, at the end of the movie, everyone in the theater was clapping, so that's a good response. It was entertaining, you know? It was cool. Had some good jump scares in it. Um, don't expect a big budget. 
a good effects in this one because it didn't have that but it was it had the heart of the Jeepers Creepers franchise and it left it open spoiler alert here there is going to be a fourth one um Trish Derry came back Derry's sister came back and she said she's coming for Jeepers Creepers when he wakes up so it leaves it off from the second movie when he's stuck in the barn the bat out of hell with the harpoon in him and she says she's ready for him to go to war with him so that was pretty cool um it was cool it was a little cheesy at times definitely had some scary parts um the acting was wasn't that great but it was definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of the franchise definitely check out Jeepers Creepers 3 if I had to review it I would give it a 7 out of 10 because I'm a big fan and it stood to the heart of the series and with a lot of limitations on it they made the best film they could make and that was cool and it was fun to watch around Halloween time it was one of the better horror movies very low budget but I know the struggle man so Jeepers Creepers 3 gets my approval check it out if you can it was a lot of fun so definitely look forward to more reviews on my channel um this one was kind of jumbled i like to go off the top of my head and i want to tell you about the movie i don't like to have it scripted or planned out but this is just my honest thoughts on the movie and my opinion on it so hopefully you guys enjoy this honest review of jeepers creepers 3 definitely go support the film check it out so they can make a fourth one soon and get some closure on this because we have no idea what the creeper is we didn't have any closure in it um but there were some badass scenes in it and some the truck was badass so go check it out guys